Hello, I'm Josh Boker. Please stay hydrated. It's really a great tool for life enrichment. And you're watching The Peach Pitch, a music review channel where I review music. And today we're talking about the new album from Cloud Nothings. It's called The Shadow I Remember. This band is from Cleveland, Ohio. Yes. And they've been around for a little over a decade now. When I think of this band, I really think of like a young spirit. So when I say that this uh, band has been around for over a decade, it kind of feels a little weird and strange in a way. This is their ninth studio album, which they've really done a lot in recent years. They've really just put a lot of music. A lot of it I have not listened to, unfortunately. Um, I'm not perfect, I admit. I've, I've just not... I've been a very busy guy. I've had a lot of new albums to listen to over the years, and I know there's just no excuse. But I have heard Attack on Memory, which was the band's breakout album, their third album that came out in 2012. And still to this day, after revisiting this record recently, I can say that it's still pretty great. It, it's really quick garage pop and rock music with a little bit of an indie flair and lo-fi flair, and uh, kind of reminding me of some bands from the 90s um, that really blew up. Back in the day, in 2012, you know, who uh, a kid who was really into Adventure Time and Urban Outfitters decided to listen to Stay Useless, which is so good. One of my favorite rock songs, and so catchy and uh, fun and engaging and wasted days still slaps i mean that thing nine minutes i think it was nine minutes of just pure headbanging chaos for those of you who don't know this band really uh, mixes garage pop and rock um, kind of mixes like these noisy guitars with pop poppy hooks catchy hooks and really features a dylan baldy on lead vocals who really provides a rough, nasally delivery, um, sometimes throat shredding delivery too, um, which can really add some fire to the mix of your local chili meal. I would say this album right here um, definitely retains the youthful edge and energy that I really enjoyed about them about like eight or nine years ago. And it's the same production that was on Attack on Memory on this record um, by the legendary Steve Albini. So that's a plus too, because that was something I really enjoyed about Attack on Memory is that it really had a nice production, a nice um, quality that reminds me of some of the best 90s rock and grunge albums. Kind of an homage to it in a way. The guitars on this thing sound great. They sound a little bit cleaner. Um, not too clean, thank goodness, but they definitely have this certain like sharp sharpness to it. Compared to their older music though, I would say it's a little different. Definitely thematically, it, it kind of sounds like more mature approach. It really sounds like this band is really uh, aged with time and really addressing enlightenment and it's really a, a, a spiritual and meditative record to me despite the darkened title and the um, gloomy album cover uh, to me it really sounds like the sun's kind of peering out and really just shining and it's kind of like an aha moment for the band specifically on tracks like the spirit of it kind of sounds like a bell going off or like a gong going off kind of like a it's finally like happening my life is like finally having some meaning the band have not lost their abilities to really craft a great pop song you know that their hooks the choruses on here are very sticky still even after all these years they really have not lost that nothing without you is really the sunniest track on this album really the catchiest and best moment, I would say. Macy Stewart on um, vocals too, which is kind of a nice twist. You know, typically with Cloud Nothings, I only hear Baldi's singing, but with her singing lightly and sweetly on the chorus, it, it's kind of a nice like sweet and sour that uh, works pretty well, um, really well. It's kind of a nice beauty to this all this madness that we're hearing. I feel like a lot of these tracks 
are springy in a way, which I've never would have never guessed to describe a Cloud Nothings album as. But I would say it's very just the sun shining, the the flowers are growing. I, I get that vibe all over this thing. Not on not on every track, but uh, specifically on like a lot of the singles and a lot of the peppier moments. Also is a whirlwind of an opener that kind of just introduces you to all the chaos um, and details and layered um, guitars and drumming and everything that you're really gonna get. Not on every track, but it kind of introduces you with a kick in the groin. Nara or Nara is one of the prettier, um, more melodic ballads on this thing. Open Rain has my va favorite vocal performance from Baldi. Uh, it, he definitely sounds more mature and strong and actually sounds more effort. It sounds like there's more effort put into the vocals on this thing. Not to say that Baldi is a bad singer or isn't trying, but I would say this track, he really just gives it, really puts it into this track. Am I Something is a great example of what I was talking about where it really just sounds like a revelation in a way. Really just finding finding yourself and finding what your meaning is, what your passion is in your life. A Longer Moon has some of the more detailed and complex guitar work on this album, which is actually a pretty nice surprise too, considering some of the songs can be a little bit simpler, a little bit general, but this one's a little bit more complex. Some of the instrumental moments um, can be a little off-putting, on this thing. They're not all winners, in my opinion. Sound of Alarm has these really like quick vocal passages that can get a little awkward and a little annoying. And It's Love, although it's really short, its pace and grooves are, they just sound so fast that they're literally like, it's like your heart is literally beating right out of your chest. And it's just kind of a little annoying and grating which isn't too bad considering this album i really don't have that many complaints overall it's a quick record at 32 minutes um which i would say is a good length for this this style of music i feel like with garage pop and rock and indie this kind of quick fast paced like short and sweet indie rock i i don't think you really need to be that long it definitely doesn't need to be an hour long i, I don't want to hear i don't really need feel like i need to hear an hour long cloud nothings record but in the end i ultimately enjoyed this thing it's it's definitely a lovely like likable album that really is a kind of a nostalgic trip to um, not just like a nostalgic trip to their older uh, more uh, appreciated records but I would say definitely kind of reminds me of the older indie that's really well appreciated too and overall I, I think the performances are great and I feel like this band has really just not lost their edge at all um, like I said earlier they've really managed to still stick with crafting pop songs and really provide a consistency, a really nice consistency. I would say they've really held true to their sound and really have pleased their fan base. I think if you're looking for something like this, this is perfect. Um, really will s scratch that itch in a way. And um, you know, yeah, maybe I'll look forward to some more Cloud Nothings in the future. I just, it's just one of those things that I just haven't gotten to. I'm, I'm very glad I listened to this thing and. I'm happy that I checked it out. If if I had to rate this thing out of 10, I'd, pr I'd give it a 7 out of 10. It's it's a very enjoyable thing. Um, nothing like phenomenal about this record, um, but there's some really, really great highlights. And overall, it's a pretty enjoyable record, pretty fun listen. I'd love to return to uh, some of those older records that have been pretty appreciated by them. And yeah. That's it. I hope you enjoy this review. I hope you check it out. You know, I, I think there's some really good moments on this thing. Uh, and if you're a fan of th that type of music, I think you'll I think you'll like it. From what I've lost in my hairline, I've only grown in my love for music. The Peach Pitch. Thanks for watching. Peace.